Hello everybody, my name is Tarkreva. Welcome back to Europa Universalis 4, playing the United States of America. And for once we are at peace. Uh, we took one more native tribe out. Should be working on this one as well, really soon. And uh, we're right now trying to claim a territory that Portugal has down here, because I still want Florida in our possession. Uh, and we can... We can kind of need it for our mission and to even out the what, east coast i mean portugal really can't you just like sell me the stuff maybe i could offer them to buy a province that should be added definitely in multiplayer should have an offer to buy the province of someone else's oh well um you guys can actually come down now uh, he's been a faithful servant so far, but now he seems to have grown to an insolent. He dares to denounce our great president's policies, and he recently did so in public in front of foreign ambassador. Even if he's right, we shouldn't let that become a habit of his. So, Guy Bedford, the philosopher. Yeah, sure, off with his head. Wow, death penalty much. Um, yeah, sure, let's get... No, I don't want the Jeffrey Bedford, the Native American Inquisitor. At least his uh, picture is Native American. It's... Oh, it could be possible. Let's just get a natural scientist. He's not that expensive, so... Octavius Fairfax, Hugh Beresford, and Augustus Cook. 875 right now. Actually, not bad. We're making some money again for a change. That war really hampered uh, our style when it came to... Um... Are you passing through there? Yeah, you are. But for now, let's put you on autonomous rebel destruction as well. Because you are still a better general. Also, if we go to war with Portugal, I do need my ships out here. Because he does have a couple of fleets flying around here. It's also nice to have them destroyed, at least. So, who is Portugal? Oh, they're already out of the war. Huh. So Russia is at peace. That happened quickly. Spain is not at peace, though. They're actually losing from the Netherlands. If you can believe that. War goal controlled by the defender. I get that. And battles. The Dutch are just winning most battles. They do have a lot. So they declared war for Osnabrück of Hesse. I would almost connect them together, and there is actually a land connection, well, a bridge sort of here between Stad and Holstein. Good for them, at least. New monarch in Spain, 535, of course. Yeah, that's a downside and a plus side of being a uh, republic. You can choose your own leader, but they always start off crappy. Basically, yeah. Oh, they were still running there, so actually the one group from the north was sooner. Uh, yeah, the Miami, the Iroquois, blah blah blah. Nah. I would really like to start integrating them, but their negatives are just too damn high. Do we not have the ability to forget, for instance, a... Uh, no, 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 hang on, hang on. Oh, crap. Yeah, we can get the Francis Dampier for now. I will get him. Better relations over time should actually increase. Yeah, 2.3 and 1.1. It's it's a bit different. It's not a lot, but it's should be enough. For now at least. Um Yeah, so our fleet is right now here. Uh, let's send it over there. We look weak. Properly civilized countries do not allow petty commoners to attempt any kind of serious thought. The eyes of the world are upon us, and the world does not like what it sees. Apparently, we have freedom of thinking. So it is only temporary, I guess. Uh, for now, I'm going to maintain you. Oh, good. He's almost done, actually. 75%. Um, Spain's opinion. Truce with France. I get it. Yes, yes, yes. But what I really would like is start annexing you, but I need 190 Ah, cool. More base tax. And we get technology. Just in time as well, because now we can upgrade our cannons. Right before the war starts, royal mortars. Excellent. Wow, we have... Arthur Anson is actually pretty damn strong leader. 
especially with what we have had earlier. Uh, Tamaroa, good. Now I can start coring you for 60. Take 50 months, but it's fine. Yay, USA. Manifesting destiny. This is actually like the entire Louisiana purchase. Ish. Maybe Comanche also uh, should be included, but... Yeah, uh, let's actually see on the... No, that's the wrong map. Trade goats. This one, yeah. So this is the actual Louisiana purchase, I suppose. Not bad, really. No, not at all. Basically, that's why it's the colonial region, then. Conquest against Portugal has been gained. Oh, yeah. We have a fleet over here. We can actually go to Timucua to... Um, Help with the sieging. Diplomacy. I need to wait for the diplomat to come home. God. Why? Also, allied with Sweden and the Commonwealth. I don't expect them to cause any trouble. And the Dutch are in the middle of that war with Spain still, I hope. Should keep them busy. Uh, yes, they are. Which Spain is really heavily losing. Holy crapola. Just battle after... Well, probably because the Dutch are just beating up everyone in this territory. So... Um, let's actually have a look at the army totals. And that's... This is army. So, yeah. There it is. Netherlands. Oh, God. This is still a big difference, though. We're only here at 71,000. Brunei has a bigger army than we do. Seriously. Brunei. That's... Well, they're actually pretty damn big. Wow, AI Brunei has expanded a bit. It's impressive. And the Dutch don't even have their entire uh, colonial stuff. They just have Northwest Europe. I'm impressed. Let's just say that. And I don't think... No, they cannot. Actually, I think. Oh, hello. Um, attacker against France. Oh, that's a perfect, perfect time. There should be a stable government. Um... Several of the leading members of the government are deeply worried about some changes proposed to how the realm should be ruled. Let's ignore them. I can lose the prestige right now. So Russia is now at war with France, Palatinate, Silesia, Ansbach, Austria. And they are at war with just Commonwealth, Thuringia, Russia, Portugal, and Lava. Oh, Lavador will actually go to war. Huh. And the Netherlands is at war with Together with Cleves, Luneberg, and Ferrara. They could still join, but I think they're still a bit too distracted. One would hope, at least. Oh, look, it's a sh fleet that actually sails around us. Okay, um, yeah. I can have a level 5 fortress in Chesapeake and in Boston. Let's build them. Just because it looks better as well. And here we go. Portugal, declare war. Take Timucua. I wonder if the Dutch will join, but let's do it. Oh yeah. You come here. It's actually pretty heavy. Uh, whoa. I guess my armies really have not um, been properly subdivided yet. Wow. Maybe I should do something about it after the war then. Um, because we have... Just weird amounts. That's actually not helping at all. So Russia, Sweden, Commonwealth, Labrador. Excellent, but exactly as we need it. No Netherlands. Uh, detach a siege. Go to Seminole. You can also detach a siege. And go back to Pensacola. Uh, detach a siege and come to Georgia. Actually, um, you come to Muscogee, you come to Muscogee. And it's almost a core now, by the way, which is good. And these guys, 16, yeah. I'll get them down here as well. No, great. Oh, hello. Um, Georgia, that's actually much better. Probably because they're not... Uh, uh, that's actually... Oh, a military dude. Morale of armies plus 10%. I love it right now. From Rhode Island. Jacob Rayleigh. 
minus one just because of the war goal I suppose yeah so we just need the war goal and then we should be wow zero percent already not bad at all uh -huh. let's merge you guys 28 7 more cannons so it's I have a really weird group set up for my military I guess 7190 so actually you know what I'm gonna start building uh, we have eight cavalry in total I want 10 for each army so we need to build 15 no hang on let's do it on the coast one two three four we need to build 12 cavalry four five six seven eight nine ten eleven and twelve so we need 12 cavalry uh, because what we have we have eight so 12 means 10 for each army leaves us with 35 other things uh 22 0 13 might be good 22 10 13 then or 20 15 hmm. question is i don't know how many i of these i have in mercs right now also i should keep attention on the north because they might decide to invade at one point you get together um Mercs split off. Good. 13 of them. You get a leader. You get Uxbridge. So that's 11 2. And when we look at the army again, so we have only 30 infantry of our own. And so we need at least 10 more of them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Pause it then, please. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. And cannons, we have 2 mercenary cannons, which means 20 in total. So now we're going to 40, 20, 20, which is not bad. Um, I guess I'll just build 10 more of these extra. 1, 2, 3, One, two, three 4, 5, 6, 7, 8... 9, 10. Then I can actually just get rid of these guys. They cost a lot more. And we can always get new ones. Because they are not expensive at all for us. We can easily maintain them for a longer period of time. Muskegee. Finally part of the patrimony. Um, 50 to culture flip. Let's start it. Still get plus 7 every month. So that's fine. Okay. Everyone here. Get your butts to Manhattan. That's actually useful in Victoria. You can actually have a uh, um, what's it? What you call it? A waypoint where they will automatically go. Holy mother of God! All them troops are appearing now. I think they're all moving, which is good. Forty-two percent should almost be done. Actually, starts the war ticking in my favor for once. How much would we have? Minus 73. Well, the 39 will be gone. 19, 6, 5. Yeah, that's a bit problematic, of course. It's going to be a long war. Hopefully, they will bring some stuff over so I can destroy it. Because that gives me war score that I could use. Uh, yes, that's the thing. And you combine into one army once you're all there. Maybe do not attach. Siege of Timukwa. It's actually the siege we need. You guys get there. Uh, Florida Straits. Let's just speed that particular one up. Uh, this actually reset the world completely. Plus zero, really. Seminole done. Two left now. Let's get you there. Actually, is it better to keep them in Manhattan? Yeah, definitely. Capital has a ton more place for people. Hopefully we can take uh, out Florida this time around. And also Portugal cannot declare war on me as long as they're in the personal union. So Russia would have to declare war, but Russia doesn't have a Casas Bella, I, I think. And we have one that last siege. You can all come to Manhattan. And you can also come north a bit. Mr. Saunders. 
trade company seven not that bad but not good either six on the plantations that one was a good plantation though what are they producing here um tobacco nice so yeah we're at war with sweden Labrador, and everything so Labrador. oh hello could i get some probably not yeah i don't think i can get access through them and once they're all here, I'm just going to split them up and have two armies of 45 running around. So, yay. And it should have given us more money. Japan will see... Holy mother of crike. Hello, Great Britain. What are you? hell are you doing? They lost a lot of territory to Russia, apparently, but they are just taking... They are just taking mainland Japan. This is new. I've, I haven't seen that happen before. The AI is just aggressively expanding into Japan of all places. Of all places. Okay, you can just get together. Split in half. You're going to stick around. You are going to come down here. Georgia has a fine place to hang out with Uxbridge. And that should help us a lot. For several reasons, of course. So if they decide to land here and I miss them, then I have an army in the south available. So that's a good thing. And yeah, 71 army tradition, 95 navy tradition. It's just so good. Also, ah, yes, taking Florida should give us a lot more possibility to uh, build more ships because they're all coastal provinces, which should give us more force limit one more fast negotiations and then we get another merchant as well how's our income now huh 68 income yes 92 from trade it's just silly now plantation it is a little bit funny to just build plantations down here just for rp sake and everything they cost admin power no, not Saunders. No. Oh crap, we actually need diplomatic power for that guy. Uh, well, let's at least kick him in the shins. So now our navy is actually ooh, a bit weakened. For now, um, you can come to the Chesapeake, I guess. You've been at seas for so long, you can now have some rest. 145 is our force limit, by the way. Um, yes, hello. Um, happy frigates, please. So, one, two, three, four, pause it then, four, five, six, seven, uh, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Right now, I don't need necessarily heavy ships, but getting a few more light ships is actually useful for trading in the Caribbean, getting more power. More trade power, more money, more everything. Four. Yay. How much war score would I need to take the stuff from Portugal? Just five, really. That's cheap. But yeah, ten war score to make demands, length of war, strength of alliances. We can actually get to 20. We only need to have plus 28. To actually... Um, to actually get the demand through. So it's just... If they don't attack us, we can just wait it out and get everything we need. So let's actually speed it up to four then. Yay, ships are building. And we're almost there. We need one more tick. Uh, not you, you there. You can get a new leader. Let's recruit a new admiral. Uh, at 95 naval tradition, that should be perfect. Wow, six maneuver. A traveling minstrel. Oh, good. Yes, gain me one stability. Even more money. Yes, more money. We could become the, the Protestant defender of the faith. Oh, hello. Netherlands accepted peace with Silesia. Nothing happens. Austria will end the vassalization of Anhalt. White peace between Hungary and the Netherlands as well. Still at war, still plus 51. Yeah, they're probably going to take a lot from Hansa. They we're not at war with them, so that's fine. 
Oh, Denmark. I think Denmark has been... Yeah, Sweden is beating up Denmark a bit. Oh, this is a fun Europe to see. But this is an even better looking North America. Oh, what happened here? White Peace Milan, out of there. And every one of the sh yeah, that's not ships. You can come to mobile, you can come to mobile, and you can come to mobile. Actually, when we have Seminole, Cord and everything, I want to uh, build a naval base there as well. As well as the trade power, just to get that... Ooh, good, actually. Very good. Um, you're all done. You can come there. You can come there. Should be almost all of them by now. Good, excellent. Yeah, I feel quite safe, and it's just taking war score now. It also increases the duration of the war, and in the end, we should get everything from them. Uh, Ferrara, uh, and all, all treaties, so apparently Spain had to drop on them. Uh, actually, where's my 15 trade fleet? Here you are. You come back to port. For now. I want to combine you into one fleet. So you have 235 trade fleets. And not enough diplomatic power. You know what? Since this is such a strong... This is a really strong uh, admiral to actually use for trade fleet. So, um... I'm giving you the Suffolk... So, trade power. We're now transporting 30... That's not fair. They're having wars, so they can't do anything. Anyway, Caribbean. Let's go. And it went up. But yeah, it doesn't really change anything. Because since there is war in Europe, they don't have any trade power in America anyway. They're just... It's not working for them. Hmm. Bummer. So we don't really see the impact of... Well, right now we're just making money. Money, money, money. Let's build plantations. Because we can... We're now trading in cotton and tobacco. Good. Let's build all them plantations in the deep south. Because it's so funny and historically accurate. And not actually funny, but more sad. Muskegee. Yo. There we go. Now, the Deep South will get plantations. Hooray! Gi Hao! Um, yes, let's keep him. Get some free admin. Oh, free diplomatic power, I think we got. That's good. We can now instantly hire a new fleet admiral and just get him into our fleet to attack. If there's anything beating us up. Portugal, low war enthusiasm, apparently. They're not doing well. What in... Wait, what? Where? Where's Kuchimi? <gasps> oh my... Oh my god, the Iroquois. I love the Iroquois. We could get West Coast access now. So, wow. Russian war exhaustion, Russian military strength. So we need more war score. And the length of war, that's the biggest one. So we just need to wait. But the Iroquois are actually sieging up this area for us like what that's insane and it's amazing we're now making 80 gold a month ducats why do i keep saying gold or do oh okay i think they're one to peace now then the broadside expired no i don't know what changed really but no our trade our trade sunk what happened I think more being ported out. Really, Portugal? Really? Oh, well, new monarch in. Oh, no, wait, that's the same one. I, I guess. Are they still in the personal union now? They should be. Yeah, they are. Yeah, Russia got, her, got its new queen, Yekaterina II. Oh, well. They're now at war. They're attacking France, so... That's not smart of them, is it? No, it's not. And France is actually beating up in that war as well. Still, the Dutch have not made peace. What is their deal with Ansbach, actually? Let's look. Oh, and it's gone. Not in time. Oh, well. 10%. We can make demands. 
that they won't accept right now because the length of the war strength of the alliances has gone up well, well, well because they have a queen again uh, that's that's just annoying that's really bad actually Russian military strength yeah if length of war was at zero right now we would still need 28 but we're getting there yeah it also is because we are demanding stuff of course Iroquois are doing really well by the way Navo are you part of anyone no you're not Hmm. Hmm. Declare war. Don't have Casas Valley because we're not. They're Catholic, though. What? Noble Republic as well. Yeah, that's more land that we could grab. I mean, take these two. Yeah, we're gonna go to war with Spain at one point. And we're gonna need a bigger fleet for that one. Uh, how is Spain doing in that war? They are losing so badly. Attacker controls, battles, yeah. I wonder if Spain is actually fighting that war or not. Oh, Ottomans broke their alliance with the Netherlands. I don't mind. Iroquois, 189. But that's including being at war together. Just shifting my headset a bit. But that's only 25, so that would also be gained with a gift. So, actually, economic and send gift. Ooh, they need a big gift for 25. Eh, let's send them a gift. So, there you go. We are at 200. I know I cannot actually start annexing them. But as soon as the war is over, we can annex them. Because by then, the year has passed and their modifier should have switched up again. Um, our stack going 27. Oh, we're almost at uh, 28 admin tech. Yay! Uh, yes, good, good, good. Um, still nothing on our borders. Yeah, this is just an absentee war for them, I guess. And uh, they went down to strength of alliance is now 21. Mm. Also, yay for this. Is that one that? No. Oh no, that's just my war score. Derp. Uh, war score, good. No, I mean. Okay, we. Uh, Tamaroa is now ours. Excellent. As a core. Uh, we do have Revolt possible, but. Mojave. Yeah, all of them are actually in Portuguese territory, so that should not worry me at all. I think we should also start taking out English Louisiana next very soon. If we want to still manifest our destiny all the way to the west coast, we're going to need to take out every English territory before, except for the Hudson's Bay Company, because I don't mind them, but every part of English Mexico as well as English Louisiana before taking on Spain. Holy mother of... So, Monopoly Company formed... Crowns often granted com trading companies the exclusive rights to traffic goods in a region. These monopolies were granted in exchange for a lump sum payment and continuing revenues from the traders. Oh, excuse me. So either we could make a long-term investment, which gives us 15% trade efficiency and 50 diplomatic power. Or we could demand payment in full and get 3,500 ducats. Oh, hell yes. I will take your ducats and I will build buildings from it that are expensive otherwise. Wow, that's ridiculous. That's diplomatic, that's diplomatic. So plantations. Tobacco here. Let's just fill up on plantations first. There we go. We could... Wow, they actually have a very high level there. Um, yeah, military, it's not that... So, expensive buildings, or more expensive buildings. Treasuries. Ooh, not... Nah. Counting house. You know what? Let's get... Um, granary. Let's build one in Chesapeake, because they are a bit better. Road network, apparently, is doable. Canals. Trade depots. Let's actually build some trade depots, then. 
Nope, nope. I need to finish up that idea first. And we're now 15. Really, Apalachi Portuguese peasants. Oh, well, let's deal with them. Anyway, we're going to end this episode right here. We're now at 16% war score. We 42. Length of war is dropping. Current peace offer, of course, a problem. Their military strength has gone up. The alliance strength, which is annoying. Huh. Maybe if I... Yeah, I sh maybe I should just sail across the ocean, beat up some Portuguese fleets, and then come back home. Anyway, I want to thank you all for watching. I'll see you guys later.